Dear Sex G Sterling, great start. Relationship question. The woman I'm dating now has very attractive qualities. Genius, intellect, thick, nice, honest and committed, but has terrible friends, okay? And little to no motivation to improve her body. A bit on the chubby size. What is the best way to instill my values in her and help her to realize the degeneracy of her friends without coming across as a heartless bastard? <laughs> Thank you for everything, G. Uh, good question. Probably a very common question for a lot of guys. So I'm assuming uh, your values would probably be things like you know, like health, fitness, working out, whatever. If you're if you know, you're saying that her, she she's got no motivation to improve her body, um, uh, her friends being degenerate or terrible friends. I'd say I'd assume your values are things like, uh, you know, being polite, being chaste, being uh, humble, modest, not being sexually overt in public in front of strangers and things like things like this, being sexually exclusive. Um. So with the fitness stuff, there's two things that get women to to crush it in the gym. One is breaking up with a guy, and like, tr and realizing she's not like. When think about this, like when a, you you see this all the time, when a woman gets out of a long term relationship and then she starts and she's not immediately getting a lot of sexual attention, what does she do? She fucking hits the gym and she becomes a milf, like that workout fitness milf. Like, so it's, that scenario is like she. She's ended a relationship and she didn't immediately get all the sexual attention she wanted, so she fucking hit the gym so she could get it. And the other one, the other reason that women hit the gym is when they are jealous of the attention that their husband or that their man is getting from other women because they're they're hotter and fitter than she is. So, uh, if she's not, if you're not going to bring her to the gym with you, she needs to kind of see uh, hotter, fitter, healthier women hitting on you, like or being, or at least being aware of it so that there's that ping of jealousy to motivate her to get her fucking shit into gear because all the logical reasons in the world won't do shit you could say everything anything in all the logical reasons under the sun will not make any fucking difference it has to be emotional and the strongest emotion is for women is jealousy so that is what is going to cause her to hit the fucking gym and, uh, and, and really work out and crush it and then it's going to become part of her identity uh, how do you help her realize the degeneracy of her friends? Now this one, this one's a bit, this one's a bit sneakier, uh, and it's it's about reframing. So you got to you have to reframe things that her. Well, the best way to do this, yeah. yeah. So ideally, the way I do it, right? Well, me and my friends do it. Right? So we have, I have friends who have girls that are in line, right? That are, that are not degenerate, like your your girlfriend's friends, right? They're good girls. Let's just say that. So I, I have friends who have girlfriends who are good girls. So when I meet a girl, if her friends, if I don't want her hanging out with their friends, if they are, if I consider them to be a negative influence, well, I have two different things I can play off then. I have. Um, you know, you can say things like, like, let's say her friend is, like, her degenerate friend is Sarah. Let's just say this, right? This, like, you can bring up casually in conversation things like, does Sarah look like she's actually happy? Like, you can point out these the, the sort of inconsistencies and, and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the hypocrisies in her degenerate friends, like saying, "Oh, they'll probably." I'm a hyper. I'm. A, I'm gonna take a wild step in the dark. They're probably feminists. They're probably degenerate. Uh, like as in, like they're sleeping around a bit. They're probably saying things like, "Oh, all men are bastards. All men are cheaters." You know, and then you can you can and you can find millions of these kind of talking points all over the internet in, in any kind of red pill space. But you can go and say things like, "Isn't it funny how your friend Sarah always says she like wants a nice guy, but she ends up fucking all the all the rappers in the club?" Isn't that funny? Like you can you can bring these things to her conscious awareness. Like she's kind of already aware of them, and she probably has. She hangs. She's she's friends with these girls for a reason. Um, but you can bring like these sort of degenerate things to the surface and point out. Like you can logically, without being a dickhead and a heartless bastard, you can logically point out like kind of from a sympathetic angle. Like, yes, yeah, I just don't think. I think your friend Sarah's destined to be lonely. 
because what's going to happen is she's going to get ran through in the club. She's going to maybe she'll fuck a fuck a rapper rapper or two. No, no dude's going to want to marry her, and she's going to be childless with a bunch of cats. It's just sad. I hope she really I hope she sees the light and she fixes herself because otherwise she's in trouble. That's that's coming from it. That's the opposite of a heartless bastard. That's you being honest and straightforth in privacy with your girlfriend about her friend and why, like where she's going to end up with this current behavior. Now, the other thing you do is if you have friends like I have, who have, you've got, a, 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 you know, bros who have girlfriends who are good girls, you can contrast it and be like, you know, Amy over here, she's, she's, she is so goddamn happy with her relationship with her, with, with her boyfriend. She's, she's at home. She doesn't have, she doesn't have to work. She's cooking. She, she bakes cakes all day, does the laundry, gets home, sucks his dick, and he takes her flying all over the world. Like, I'm just painting it and talking about example. This might not be the exact case, but you get the point here, right? You're painting a picture of, like, this girl acts nice and gets all the things that this degenerate girl wants. But this degenerate girl will never get these things because of the way she acts. Like, and so you're, you create this contrast in her head between her degenerate friends and your friend's girlfriends. So you've got this thing to ping off. Uh, and that is, is a proven and tested way to get women to adjust their social circles. And then practically you introduce your, if you have, surround yourself with guys who have, who have their women in line, who have good girlfriends, and then you just introduce them. That's the new social, that's her new social circle. Ta-da. Bam. I found you new friends, baby. It's my boy's girlfriends. That's it. Right? You need to leave these bitches alone. <laughs> so there's a practical component to that too. So I uh, hope that helps and uh, good luck.